nice joint war service. Hello everybody, good evening and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Chimex here again and I just got back to Dwala after being away for an entire week. Welcome to Dwala. Welcome to the city of Dwala. The city where you get the noise of bikes rather than that of people actually talking to each other. Where you get stuck in traffic for more than 30 minutes on the same spot. Where drivers proudly drive on the wrong side of the road and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. After service, I made a brief stop at Santa Lucia to get plantain chips, but I couldn't find them. Alright guys, so I just got home back from church. It was an amazing, amazing teaching session today. I, oh my god, it was really beautiful. I feel elated, I feel so happy, I feel so, so much in Christ today. I've been going to church consistently for the past three months, but today was just totally different, guys. And guess what? <laughs> Pastor called me for church, as in, while I was standing and praying, he said, young man, come outside. Ah, will be that. So I went out and he asked me a few questions. He asked my name, what I do, who brought me to church. Was it my first time coming to church? I said, no, um, I've been to church for the past two to three months right now. And um, I always just, normally when I go to church, I always just sit in the back. Even if the ushers tell me to move forward, I just, I just prefer sitting behind. Even the first day I went to church, when they asked who are the newcomers here, I didn't even stand up, I didn't even put my hands up because I just don't want to be noticed. I, I came there for prayers and uh, dedicating my life to Christ. So, no need, I don't want to be like that. Yeah, so basically, um, he told me to meet him after church. And, um, he has something to tell me. So that's it. I'm back home and try to unpack some stuffs and put certain things in their place. After I do that, I will crash sleep. Last night, I had a dream of us coming together. Last night, in my dream, I saw unity. I had, I had a taste of democracy, and I felt, I felt safe. East to the west. All right, guys. I don't know. I might pop one of these today. I love this popcorn so so much. Especially this brand. All right, guys. Um, that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Cheers. With love and prosperity. And I walk out. Hello, guys. So today it's Thursday. There's absolutely nothing you can do in the morning till like 10, 11 o'clock because it's keep Dwala clean. So I have a few errands to run today. I'm just waiting for the time to you know, get to 11 so I can begin my day. So yeah, so let's get going for the activities of today. What do I have to do today? I have to pay my phone bills. Um, I, have, I have to pay my water bill. I have to pay um i need to go to the garage i need to do alignment and i also need to do grocery shopping because i've been away for like a week and a half so there's literally nothing in my fridge so i just have to come stock it up again and also i have to see my bestie i got a few stuff for her and also i have to go to church again today and i have to eat i have to like have a lot of stuff today i don't know if i'll be able to show everything this video so yep that's it let's get going let me know waste your time okay let's go take one right spread amongst all shapes and colors people were building a beautiful understable home last night in my dream I saw humanity And I woke up asking myself Oh, I woke up asking myself Why can't we achieve a sustainable peace? 
So this guy tell me say for do alignments now 15 uh, 10,000 plus the fact that I have to change the tire to do alignment 10,000 I think say no I beg I don't get personal motor so I say in taxi <laughs> c'est pas la voiture personnel <laughs> donc agency have insisted for him to give me for the taxi price which is 5,000 personal price is 10,000 taxi is 5,000 so I think say my voiture my voiture na taxi c'est pas personnel so he says okay no problem let him look for my tires and um, see what he can do so that's what I'm waiting for right now you know the tire that's behind that's the tire that used to be in front so when it got um um chopped off uh, i had to put it behind because it was really shaking the car so guys make sure you check your alignment it's very very important because i had no idea my car had align uh, alignment issues when my uncle entered the car the other time he told me it's alignment and i have to make sure i fix it because whatever tire i buy i have to keep on changing it and changing it and changing it. and this is the third uh, right tire i'm changing every time i change it i used to feel like okay it's normal chopped off because of the roads or anything but i got to find out it's actually alignment and i'm here to fix that because i'm sick and tired of changing um, um, um car tire so yep let's do that right now no way i'm changing tires for fifteen thousand francs a piece no way Mais j'ai programmé 15 000 pour, faire, pour, pour changer les rôles et faire le par, 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 parallélisme. Oh, okay, ouais. Donc, je vais ajouter 1 000 francs comme ça, ça fait 16 000. On fait ça comme ça. Comment tu fais the entire place is flooded. Jesus Christ. The rainy season this year is wild, man. It's really wild. The prawns came over from the river a few days back. And those prawns signify for the end of the crisis. It seems like. <laughs> It uncovers a whole new dimension of rain. Bro, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. So I'm on my way to go shoot. Um, I was contacted for a guest house, for a guest house shoot. So that's where I'm heading to right now. It's at Cité de Palmier. And this road, <clears throat> I don't know what's happening in front, but it usually doesn't have traffic. I don't know what's happening in front. I don't know if there's an accident or what. Like the traffic is mad. I've been here for over 30 minutes and I've just moved like two, two meters in 30 minutes. So I don't know what's up. I don't know what's I don't know what's happening in front, but we'll get to find out. Um 35 minutes late. <laughs> They'll just say she makes no serious at all. I'm not be just a serious person. <laughs> I was supposed to be there at 3 p.m. Now it's 3.35. Ah. So, yep, that's how my Saturday is going. I hope yours is going smoothly. Okay. I hope yours is going smoothly. I think these are the people who are causing the traffic. These are the people causing the traffic. Big man, they pass. So, yeah. Big man, they pass. All right, guys. So, like I was telling you, I was coming for an apartment shoot, and we are here right now. So, this is the apartment. Um, you know, before you start an apartment shoot, it's best you use the interior light. So, I'm trying to close the entire windows right now. So that we can go with the light from within that gives it more it brings out the, the beauty more unlike sunlight so yep that's it uh, stay tuned for that video it will be coming up after this one so yep hope you enjoy this one hope you love it and make sure you book when i post the video make sure you book it's a two style bed um apartment you need one caribbean and the other bohemian so just stay tuned for the video to watch right now let me get ready get my top get some b-rolls and start shooting that's it
no fi imagine say I ordered beignet haricot. My friend ordered grilled chicken and plantain with salad and everything. Me we ordered beignet haricot. It's been close to one hour now. My food is not yet here. Crazy. Nice joint, but very, very poor, poor service. It's totally unacceptable for you to wait close to an hour for your food. No way. It doesn't happen like that. But we have over one hour, yeah? Over an hour. Over an hour. What am I talking about? It's been more than one hour. No beignet recall. But grilled chicken and plantain and everything, salad is already here. No beignet recall. What's the time now? 